Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to create uh, a random email generator. Now I've done one of these before but this is slightly more advanced but uh, it won't stretch you too much. So first of all we're going to import random. So we need the random module and now we're going to create a subroutine called generate random email right so I'm going to say first name here first name F name is equal to and I'm going to give it a few names something like Dave John Paul Steve Joe. I think that'll be enough uh, to get on with now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a little uh, array list here so there we go so that's the first name and we also want a last name as well L whoops L name so this is going to be the last name I'm going to do the same with this I'm just going to uh, put some last names in like Doe uh, Smith, all the usual type of names of course, Smith, Jones, uh, let's have a look, Jones, Peters, whoops, Peters, uh, I, I think that'll do, mm, yeah, why not, now then, now then, okay, that'll do. I think that will do there, that's enough. Okay, now we're going to come down rand num. So the random number, I'm going to create a variable here and we're going to use the random module random dot rand int random by random integer so I'm going to gen generate a random number a random integer between 20 and 99 okay so now I'm going to assign a variable x is equal to random dot choice and this is going to be for the first name here so X is equal to random dot choice along there so we'll randomly choose a name from out of that list and uh, Y is equal to random whoops random dot choice and that's going to be out of the L name list Okay, right, the rand email here is going to be equal to, and I'm going to use the format string here. So, format, we got x and y, and we got random. And we're do, going to do something like at my domain dot com here. So we've got the format here. We've got the x and y, and then we've got the random number here. Right. What we're going to do now? Print random email and then we're going to create another subroutine called another email not a subroutine I'm not in Perl <laughs> a function okay let's have a look so another email 
Okay. So we're going to print a message to the user. Print more. And we're going to get some uh, user input here because the user's got to type in whether they want to more emails or not. So that's going to be entry is equal to input. And it's simply going to be a yay or nay, yes or no. Okay. So if entry dot lower and this will reduce everything to lowercase that's typed in the input box then we won't get any errors so even if it's typed in in capital it will be reduced to lowercase so if entry dot lower is equal to y then we're going to do something generate random email we're going to generate them a random email else somebody types in no or something else we're just going to hit quit we're just going to quit the program now all we have to do now is call it and of course we're going to call it by its name which is up here generate random email to do is just save that and let's run it okay so it's uh, generated me an email Dave Jones 96 at mydomain.com print more I'm gonna say yes Steve Smith 42 at my domain okay yes let's print more let's have a look more the merrier Joe Jones Okay, yes, okay, Steve Doe 93, okay, I think I'm going to quit now, so no. So there we go, Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie, I hope you enjoyed that, remember, subscribe, that's like, <laughs> like first and then subscribe and I'll catch you in another video, bye-de-bye. -bye.